Welcome to Better Trolling for Better Polling. Our guest today is one of America's busiest trolls, Ron DeSantis. Happy to do it. Ron, you've been in the news for scamming, I mean helping, refugees in a state not your own by tricking them into being shipped like cargo to another state not your own. Some elitist gossips say that makes you not only America's most high-profile human trafficker, sorry, Matt Getz, but also one of its most meddlesome busybodies. Uh, it was a great event. Except it really didn't turn out as you planned, did it? You sent them to create misery and chaos. You wanted photo ops of angry liberals so you could call them hypocrites. But the KG locals responded with kindness. Damn them and their lib tricks. They want to impose their values. And that's our job. Quick, what's the difference between trafficked Venezuelans and Alan Dershowitz? The trafficked Venezuelans are welcome on Martha's Vineyard. Oh, Ron, it was a joke. Well, sort of. But you know, if you really wanted to punish Martha's Vineyard, you should have sent the people who vote for you instead. And Ron... Really, if you're trying to discourage desperate refugees from crossing the border, perhaps rewarding them with free trips to fabulous resorts may not be the brightest approach, dear. Everything you cited is irrefutable. So, where will these human beings end up next time? Abandoned on the side of a road. Perfect. In his wisdom, the Lord withheld the gift of empathy for other people's children from conservative Christians. It's a wonderful time saver. It doesn't mean that God didn't endow you with very special talents. Well, clearly. And he certainly gave you the uncanny talent to spot a photo op across several time zones. If Ted Cruz doesn't get to it first, Ron, tell us something interesting about yourself. You know, with, with, with Navy SEALs, it's interesting. Uh, we were in Al Ambar province. And so this is like Fallujah, Ramadi, mm. Al Asad, Haditha, all those areas. Ron, you weren't a Navy SEAL. But I was there. I'd be on like a helicopter. With... Well, you had a desk job. You were a lawyer, not a SEAL. Carried a briefcase, not a rocket launcher. Okay, so back in the real world, you are so wise to use Florida, dreadful place, as a stepping stone to be somebody nationally known. I'm in office not to be somebody. No, you're in office to be something. President. I'm in office to do something. And that something is? trolling and you're doing a fabulous job at it you know there are a lot of our fellow conservative christians in your state who want to get out word about how much they can't abide gay people trans youth and rudely inconvenient history so i was able to to use my office to help those folks if no one else parents of trans or gay youth call what you do to their children cruel but you know what we call it Collateral damage, because when it comes to your political ambitions, sacrifices have to be made. They're children. So that's kind of how we view it. What would Jesus do? I guess we'll never know. Okay, I'm not just virtue signaling here. Well, technically, wouldn't you need virtue to do that? So what does Ron DeSantis think? when no one is looking. What, do, what can I do by myself? Darling, I told you before we started, I don't want to discuss those weak moments when you slide your tiny hands into your BVDs and are lured into a handful, so to speak, of seconds of clammy self-debauchery by Satan. You understand kind of where the pressure points are? Again. Let's not get into the mechanics of your carnality. And I rebuke you if it gives you an added thrill to know the Lord is watching. Let's talk about something family friendly. I, I didn't want to serve in Congress anymore and I wanted to actually come to Florida because it's a much more family friendly uh, mm. thing. So you told your kids that you moved back to Florida because you didn't want to raise them in wicked DC? Just don't tell them that moving back to Wicked DC is currently your sole mission in life. So everything we're doing is with an eye to actually accomplishing the mission. Why should your kids be any different than the other kids you use? And speaking of hobbies, other than the wicked sin of Onan, what do you like to do in your free time? To inject sexuality 
into the discussions with the very youngest kids. Isn't it ironic? Nobody in Florida talks about children and sex more than you do. Let's talk about parenthood. As conservative Christians, we are called to neglect our kids so we have time to keep tabs on other people's children. It goes into the larger discussion about the proper role of parents. Uh, agreed! Telling other parents what their children can read, say, wear, and be their welcome. Our vision is that parents have a fundamental role in the education and upbringing of their kids. Well, until they're killed by an AR-15, and sadly there is absolutely nothing we can do to stop that. But until that inevitable time, we want to teach young children that slaves were lucky guest workers, jobs, 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 homosexuality is just a hobby, and that Jewish Middle Eastern Jesus looked like an Anglican from Copenhagen. If you don't inject this early, by the time they get older, it's almost, quote, too late. Because conservative Christian grooming is the only grooming that should be allowed. We must have prayers in public schools. Well, our prayers. So we're going to fight very hard for that. Glory. Is an expression of our values that, that, that every one of these kids count. Uh, until they're born. Then they're on their own, especially in a school, mall, street, or, oh, who has that kind of time? What do you say to one of these children before they are shot for our freedom? This is a child that deserves protection. Almost as much as the manufacturers of the assault rifles that kill them. Okay, polls show that most Americans are in favor of abortion. So how do we trick them into thinking that women are clamoring to have super extreme abortions? What do we say to scare them? An abortion right before the baby's born. That's a great line. Just don't talk about how those late term abortions are very rare and almost always performed because the baby has died or the mother is about to. Facts. The propaganda of Satan. Uh, the conservative uh, red and purple states um, are going to be much, much more protective uh, of, uh, of, the, of the right to life. Mm, well, except for the death penalty or depriving children of medicine or standing our ground or uh, what am I saying? You probably know the endless list of exceptions to being pro-life better than I do. Good golly. You probably invented a few. Everybody counts. Well, except refugees. But they make fabulous political props. So, Ron, what is that your mega Republican fans love most about you? Really obnoxious and extreme positions. And what are the best incubators for those positions? Uh, one of the best uh, resources we have are the churches. Since the beginning of time, a lot of these mega Republicans are pushing the stolen election narrative. They're basically asking us to be complicit in lies. And they don't have to ask twice, but many of them want to get rid of democracy altogether when it comes to making American an authoritarian theocracy. All they ask for is a chance. Uh, giving people a chance is very, very important. But rhinos don't come right out and say that. They don't want this to be something that's out there. Yes, let's secretly use democracy to kill democracy. So what are Republicans going to do to counter the rising number of Democrats? They are not going to allow competition. Smart. And speaking of stopping black people from voting, the Confederate flag. Fabulous design, but a bit of a lightning rod. How do your mega Republican fans feel about it? You're going to have a lot of people uh, that are going to be rallying around that flag. Well, thank you, Governor DeSantis. I was so lucky to get you before a live camera. <laughs> Kidding. It's the easiest thing in the world. Happy to do it. And thanks for coming back to Tallahassee. Darling, before today, I'd never stepped foot in Florida. How I envy those who can still say that. The left calls him a bratty, uncharismatic attention junkie who blithely uses human beings as props in juvenile stunts intended solely to elicit the easy applause of the most mean-spirited of mega Republicans. But I just call him a mega Republican role model. Glory!